Okay, YouTubers, welcome again to Dino's Workshop. Okay, what we're doing out here today, we're looking at this uh, flexible unisolar PVL 144. It's a flexible solar panel. Been around a long time. I've had this one. Well, I've had it all of that. I had about four or five years. Okay, they uh, pretty much work like they they're supposed to. You know, I don't care for them because uh, they uh, you put them on a metal roof, and if you got any kind of airspace, they're going to cause your roof to rust. Okay. You got to really put a good coating and a butyl rubber down to uh, put these things down. They put out what they say. They say uh, this is the fourth time I've shot this video. That's why I'm kind of short on wind on this. I then dug all the paperwork out, did tests on these things to make sure that I was telling you right. These things average 46.2 volts uh, output. Okay, see so it's got a getting a little better shot of that. Uh, Multimeter issue right now is showing 40.8 volts if you can read it. It was up to 42. Usually it puts out when their sun's really shining hot and heavy, is they're putting about 46.2 volts. Uh, uh, I mean, almost all the time. You know, I guess because I got them laid out here in the yard, it's not showing it as good, but uh, it's over 40 volts, you know. You can count on 46 too if you got them laid out right. Blue film, it goes on the back, and uh, you peel that film off, and you can. I roll it up on the roof. I bought four of them uh, about four years ago for a hundred dollars a piece back when they were selling for four hundred and forty nine dollars a piece, okay? And um I would have the guy had about three hundred of them. Maybe I should have bought eight or ten of them, but uh, I wanted to try them out first and uh he sold out of them by the time I tried them out a little bit. Anyway, uh they put out forty six point two volts. You get you gotta watch the charge controller or the uh inverter you used them with because uh, it's got to be able to handle that 46 volts most of them most of them little bitty ones handle like uh 30 volts you know that's about as much as and they advertise these as 24 volt uh solar panels and they're not they're 46.2 volts so uh the in the grid tie inverter i got is uh let's see it, it's uh handles from 22 to 60 volts okay i almost got caught in that until i checked the voltage anyway now four of them have the best I've ever done with four of them on the roof uh, was uh, I think it was around 520 watts something like that you know I don't remember but uh, it was around that okay they they don't put out that much in the the old grid tie inverter I uh, we said it put out it says it puts out 82 percent efficiency man it's never seen 82 percent efficient old Chinese Chinese grid tie inverter you know I'm gonna put another video up about that thing to put you set you right about it but like I say these things are they are flexible you know It'd probably be good to put on an airstream trailer or something like that you know a little flat travel trailer but I wouldn't recommend you put them on your a metal roof you know they uh, they're uh, let's see they're 18 foot 6 inches long and they're 15 and a half inches wide you know Okay, let me show you this. I got this little uh, more more China purchase. This is this thing here is a China made watt meter. It measures watts, amps, and everything. I got a couple of them. And I, what I do is I uh, use butt splice connectors instead of that MC3 stuff. Uh, that way I can hook anything up to, and I'll get up there and check my. Uh, my wattage and my voltage it's better than taking a multimeter up there and i check each one and make sure they're putting out right you know and I, I'm, what i'm going to do with these next is i'm going when I, i'm swapping over to uh to uh off grid you know i'm going to use these uh to run my charge controller okay in other words to charge my batteries with you know and uh, any other solar panels i get a hook here at my house to uh uh pump power back into the grid i'm not really onto that i, I want to get off grid guys but uh you know if you can pick these things up 50 100 dollars a piece you know go ahead and get them they they pretty good uh, but you gotta attach them down right i mean they they gotta be glued down or whatever you know put some strips along the side and hold them down you know but uh, if you got airspace up and they're gonna rust your roof you know but anyway that's the real deal that's the big big daddies they made these are 144 watts and like I say, they're pretty big, you know, being 15 and a half inches wide and 18 and a half feet long, you know, I saw. And you can, you can get a, a little bitty solar panel to do as much as these things. I don't see the advantage in them, you know. And they're, I think they what they call amorphous uh, panels or something like that, you know. And, you know, you got to know that monocrystalline is going to beat the heck out of these things, you know. And uh, this is kind of dated technology, some of this nanotechnology, I think, you know. But anyway, they did the job. They reduced my power bill. I increased the energy efficiency on my house by, you know, LED bulbs. 
uh, high efficiency air conditioners and all that, you know, and eliminate all the unnecessary stuff. I, I quit using a big old desktop computer, started using a laptop, you know. It works out just as well. I plug my laptop and my TV into my L flat screen TV. It's just as big as my as my uh, uh, desktop will do, you know. So I've tried to cut energy every way I could, you know. And these things serve their purpose, but I'm moving on to be bigger and better, you know. I'm going to get some some solar panels. They run about 39 inches wide and five and a half feet long, you know. So they, they'll do a lot better job than these things. Well, I, I wouldn't invest any money in just, just this date and time, you know. They might have been a good idea five, ten years ago, or, you know, five, six years ago, but not now. You, the, I mean, you got uh, sun power, puts out a solar panel, puts out 420 watts. That's what I would go with. I'd rather invest money in that. Be a lot less damaging to your roof, a lot easier to maintain and everything. Uh, I really don't suggest you get these things. If you, if you, if you find some for cheap, yeah, but I wouldn't get them, you know. Anyway, guys, this is Dino at Dino's Workshop. Uh, look, uh, uh, I'm going to be doing this uh, off-grid installation, plus I'm always doing other little projects. If you put hit the subscribe button, it'll put me down on the bottom of your little subscription list, you know. You ever see a number come up here, you know, I, I done put up another video. And if you're interested in solar, I'll work on solar, hot rods, electronic equipment. I do carpenter work, all that stuff, you know. And I think I'm fixing to embark very soon on one of them little uh, tiny homes, you know. So y'all stay tuned, you know. Subscribe to my channel and you're going to see some interesting stuff coming down there. Plus, look. We got the Mardi Gras parade coming out in about uh, well, probably two weeks, you know. I'm going to do, do some shots, not in New Orleans because that's a bad place to go, but here in Homer where I live, about 40 miles uh, west of New Orleans, you know. And they put on as good a parade and have as much fun here uh, with that than they do in New Orleans. New Orleans is a big mess, you know. But you'll be looking for some Mardi Gras uh, uh, parade photos. I'm going to do some for night and daytime where you see all the floats and everything. It's pretty colorful, you know. Y'all enjoy it. I give you, when I do them, I give you the lowdown on about visiting Louisiana and about seeing the Mardi Gras parades and enjoying Mardi Gras. So come on back. Anyway, click subscribe. This is Dino, Dino's Workshop.